guys, my name is Hilda uh, Today I am going to show you a tutorial on how to straighten a photo in Photoshop CS4 um, That's what I'm using anyway You can use this method in CS2, 3 or 4 This is what I have found to be the easiest way um, to do this as you can probably see, this is a very, very bad image. Um, I'm going to try to straighten it a bit to see if we can make this a somewhat decent image. Later on I'm going to adjust uh, the colors as well. Um, to begin with, what we do is that we go to the menu, choose Filter, Distort and Lens Correction It's a bit hard to see uh, the entire box that comes up This is the box for Lens Correction You can see this grid, that's very useful to see what's actually straight and not straight and uh, in this case <laughs> Uh, there's not much that is straight, really. Anyway, um, if you're up here, you have something that's called Straighten Tool. I choose that one. Then I'm going to draw a st straight line, or a line that should be straight if the picture was correct. And then Photoshop will try to straighten it for me using that line that I've been drawing. So on this picture, um, I'm actually going to choose to use a bit here in the foreground. Usually if you take like a picture of a sunset or something, it's very good to use the actual horizon to draw your line at. I could draw here or here, more in the foreground. I'm going to go with the foreground. So I'm going to draw my line up here you can see that the photo is immediately rotated a bit I haven't made the changes yet because I didn't press OK but this is what happens um, as you can probably see though it, it looks pretty good the picture itself but my image doesn't cover the entire canvas anymore so, what I'm going to do is, let me show you a bit down here, down here in the right corner, there's something called scale, it says 100% because it's showing my entire image. I'm going to move this up a bit, until my image covers everywhere, like this, 111%. So you have to add uh, usually somewhere between 5 and 10%, up to 15 in the more extreme cases, like this one. If I show you a bit around here, you can see that my image covers everywhere. So I'm happy with this one. Then I just choose OK. And up back out here. And as you can see I have a completely different image from what I started with. It looks a whole lot better. So That's it. Go to Filter. Distort and lens correction. Easy as that. Okay, that was today's tutorial and I'll be back very soon with the next one. Bye bye!